Hey, AT from CNC at home. Going to be doing some work on the laser today. Just getting the uh, computer booted up. I have these little cardboard guys. Uh, some of you may recognize these if you're a coffee drinker or a hot drink drinker. These uh, are the things that go around your hot drink to help insulate your hand from all of that. I picked these up at the car clinic. They have a bunch of these that they uh, put around their hot drinks for the clients and for the guys out in the shop. I thought it would be fun to see what it looked like with the uh, logo on here. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. Uh, we basically have about 100 millimeters by 50 millimeter area. Just get the uh, measuring stick on here and you can see that. So there. So it's bigger than that, but I figure if I stick to 100 millimeters by 50 millimeters, it'll fit in there nicely. What's going on here with the computer? Should have booted up by now. Anyway, we'll get uh, one of these set on here. Get one of these set on here. As soon as the uh, computer gets booted up, we'll get the laser aligned and focused and start burning. Okay, the computer finally booted up here, and I brought in the Car Clinic logo. So I'm just going to come up here and do a quick resize. I'm going to make its width uh, 100 millimeters, and our height uh, is about 41. So that's about the right size for what we need. I'm just going to put it down here in the lower left-hand corner. We'll zoom on on it so you guys can see that pretty well. And Let's look at the layer settings. I come to my library and I look up, where is it? Card stock. That's not what I want. Well, it actually it is, but cutting through, this is for not cutting through. Here we go. This is what we want. So, you know, brown card stock, which essentially the cardboard is. So, we'll use that setting. Uh, except that's for lines and this is an image. So let's just look at what those settings are. So it's 4,000 at 60. So let's just uh, manually set that up here on the image. Set this at 4,000 at 60% power. And we'll set the the line interval. Oops. Set the line interval to basically 0 0.085, which seems to work pretty well. On cardboard, I can get away with with lower. Uh, I just want to see what this looks like with this. I'm going to use the Jarvis dithering, which is what I normally do. So let's uh, just take a quick preview of this. It looks like it's going to take about uh, just over four minutes to do this. That should turn out fairly nicely. So let's uh, get the laser turned on and we'll fire up, fire the laser up and let's go uh, get this focused. So I want this to sit fairly flat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put uh, put a chunk of metal on the back here, take a couple of these 9 volt batteries and stick them on the front and before I focus I just want to make sure that that is a good working area so we'll uh, just do a frame Woo! it's close on the top so we'll need to pull that down just a little bit Anyway, that'll work. Anyway, those those things will help hold this this cardboard down flat. Um, so I don't know. Can you see this with my big mitts in the way? It helps if I put the right glasses on. Okay, let's see if we can get this focused nicely here. That's too much. Too much. Right there looks really good. So we'll just get this down 
is what will be the lower left corner of our burn and we'll do another frame to see if that uh, looks good. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's get the, uh, get the ventilation, this downdraft ventilation turned on. To get this downdraft ventilation working, I've got my fancy 440 CFM fan up there and this uh, on off switch is uh, pretty good. All I have to do is plug it in and that starts all of this. Oh yeah. Normally I have a uh, piece of plexiglass that sits in front of here. Uh, for this burn I'll just leave it off. It, uh, ventilation should pull that smoke away fairly, fairly well. Well, that turned out pretty well. That'll make a nice copy thing. The issue will be that this is essentially ash. The black part is where it's literally has burned. So what I'm going to do is do a quick coating of some clear lacquer on that to just kind of protect that. And uh, I'll do a couple more of these and then present them to uh, Tim and Michelle over at the car clinic. That'll be a kind of a fun little thing for them. Anyway, this was a nice simple project. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Enjoy doing your CNC at home projects.